So another question somebody asks is that, again, so what happens is, in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put our relationship directly with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't have arbaba min dunillah. I'm not sure which part of Christianity, but some of them have a confession box. So basically, if you commit a sin, the Christians, some, not all Christians, some, some fractions of Christianity, they have a confession box in the church. You know about this? So you go to the church and you have to tell, so the, church, the, the, the priest or whoever, he sits behind the, the, like in the next box. And you can't see him, or you can see why he's very like a veil. And you just say the things that you've done wrong. And then that becomes like a tawbah. So there's no such thing as in Islam. You, do make, you make a sin, you, forget, you, you, you seek presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's it between you and Allah. Unless you've hurt somebody's feelings, you took somebody's money, you took the wealth, you have to give it back to them. You have to ask for forgiveness if you, if you insulted them, etc. But if it's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you just do tawbah. You don't have to go to anybody else. It's just you between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Correct? Understood? However, so there's no confession in Islam. You just go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tawbah is tikfah. However, sometimes, unfortunately, certain sins can become a habit. So if you realize, okay, well, once it happens, okay, you, know, you might not do anything once in your whole life, but then it once and then two years later it happens again. It's not a habit, it just happens sometimes. So then you just do istighbar, tawbah and carry on. But if you realize it's happening frequently, it's happening frequently, and I don't know how to control this. Like for example, something like my anger. I get really angry and I get out of control. Once in a while it happens. It's like, okay, do tawbah, istighbar and then carry on. But it happens all the time, you can't control it. Yes? Then what do you do? So if you say it happens lots of time, then you need help. You need to get advice of somebody. Are you following? Sometimes there's certain sins that it's like not good to, like you can't just declare your sins, isn't it? You shouldn't declare your sin. So if you want help, you would like, oh, sin. I'm doing this sin. But um, I don't want to tell somebody. You've got a spiritual mentor, you've got a spiritual guide. And you don't want to tell somebody you're doing this sin, did you? Yes? You don't tell your, about your sin. That's between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you can't, you keep on doing it. You've got a habit. You need, you need help. What do you do then? So there's two ways of doing this. One is, don't say that I do this sin. Just say that I'm having a very strong feeling in my heart to do this sin. And it's happening too much, I can't, and I feel like I'm getting involved in this sin. You're not lying. You're just saying, well, let's say for example, um, I'm having a very strong feeling in my heart to drink alcohol. So, whether you drink alcohol or not, you don't mention that. Yes? You may have it, drank it. You drink, if you drink it once, I mean, again, you don't have to drink alcohol hopefully, but for example. So you say, well, oh, you don't have to say I drink alcohol and I keep on drinking. If you drink it once, Tawbah is far. Forget no confession. Go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Tawbah is far. That's it, finish. Don't worry to go to anybody else. But if you get a habit and you realize every second day, every day, I'm getting a habit of drinking alcohol and I can't stop, I don't know how to do, I need help. Then you have to ask somebody for help. Like, what should I do? What, what's the advice? How should I stop drinking alcohol? Is there any ways, any tips? So there's two things here now. One way is, you just say that, look, I've, I'm having a strong desire to drink alcohol, it's getting really strong and I'm worried about this, what should I do? So then you're not declared yourself. Second, other, other thing as well is that some say you can't you can mention it because, let's say for example, you got, a, you got a cut in a private area, like in your private parts, you've got some kind of illness, or under your, by your thighs you have some illness. That's a private part, isn't it? But you can go to the doctor, you can show the doctor because you're ill. So that's not going to be a sin. So there's two ways of doing it. The first way is better, because you're not disclosing your sin. But if you do, and not just for the sake of oh, it's confessing your sin, but like I'm keep on doing this and I can't control it myself, then you can seek advice. That's look, this is a sin that I'm doing, or a sin that I have either I have a desire to do. Just keep it as that, or you can mention it. Say, well, I need some help because I'm a bit stuck in this. I don't know how to get out of it. Yes, and that's why it's very important that before you even do any sin, uh, never think of oh, I'll do it once and it's over with. Because what happens, even psychologically, once that thought is in your mind, uh, as Hazrat. Tanun Rahmatullah has mentioned this, or Hakeem Rahmatullah has mentioned this. Now, once you do a sin once in your life, you do tawbah and istighfar, if the thought comes again later on, don't worry. Meaning, it's not, you don't want it to happen, but once you've done a sin once in your life, then it's very possible your, your shaitan will bring that thought in your mind again. And even psychologically as well. Like, because it, the memories in your mind, your, your, your neurons and that have been connected to this habit, this other, you're following. That's why I never underestimate one sin, because when you create, do a sin, it's in your mind now. Like for example, does anybody of you have a, like a desire to drink alcohol? You don't drink alcohol in your life, so you think... But if you've done something bad before, and you've done it quite a few times, then the, the connections in your neurons or psychologically becomes stronger and stronger, and the desire is there. So then what can happen is that after the Tawbah, 
a stop means still come again. So that's not something to worry about. Do you understand? Well, if you do tawbah, if you've done a sin quite a few times and you do tawbah, Allah's forgive everything. Everyone's forgiven. And if the thought comes again, no panic. Because it's in your, it's in your memory, isn't it? So Shaitan will bring that memory back to your mind. Don't worry about that. Ignore it. Do you understand? So never, so at the beginning, if you've never done a sin, don't ever uh, think, oh, it's something light. Because you can get a habit and it becomes stronger and stronger and it's hard to get rid of it. And if you've committed one before, you do tawbah, istighfar, and then what do you do? You just, then after that you continue. And then the thought comes again, just ignore it. It will happen. It's natural to have that thought again. Then to panic about, worry about. Do you understand? Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallah wa bihamdi, kumashadu la ilaha illa anta wa astaghfirullah wa natuhu wa ilaha.